Where does it start? Cub Scouts, brownies. Then it just continues on. Little League teams and drama clubs and sororities. And then maybe it's the Muskrat Lodge Brothers or the Sunset Quilting Circle. Clubs and cliques and teams and unions. People like to be part of a group. We need to belong. We, we, we take comfort in being with others who share our ideas and our interests. They say to us, we're not alone. Oh, wait. There's another group we belong to. Our family. We often take that one for granted. We think our family is just a given. We think that group's automatic. Perhaps we should think again. Too. Yeah, but I only got cookies. Yeah, and your problem is... Come here, man! Here, that's mine! Come here! Come here. Hey! Hey! What is it now, guys? Mom, he just took my snack for lunch. Yeah, but he got a cupcake. It's not fair, Mom. Listen to him! He's been a brat ever since we got up. We should get to send him back to where he came from. Mom? Michael, that's enough. Zach, do you remember what we talked about the other night? About how sometimes you feel like you're being treated unfairly? Yes. Even when you're really not? Yes. Even when you know I'd only give the chocolate chip oatmeal raisin cookies to you because they're your favorite? Yes. Hand it over. It's your carpool. Goodbye, sweetie. Did you see that, Mom? Did you see it? I mean, ever since Zach found out he's adopted... He's been the biggest pain in... I know, honey. He's adjusting. It's only been a month since we told him. But do you remember the adoption hearing? You, me, and your dad standing before the judge? That was all the way back in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. You remember what the judge said to you? He said something about being a good brother. He said that it's not just about dad and me adopting a son. It's also about you adopting a brother. A little brother who's going to look up to you and depend on you. Okay, okay, Mom, I remember. You remember what you said to the judge? <laughs> I promised to take care of Zach even if he was a brat sometimes. <laughs> but I didn't know he was going to turn out to be such a big brat <laughs> all the time. I don't want you to be late for school. Okay. What does this mean for my heart, Mom? Well, remember when I told you I'm adopted? Uh-huh. So, first I grew in one mom's tummy, then I grew in another mom's heart. So, first I just had a tummy mom, now I have a heart mom, too. And this picture's for her. You're a liar, Zach. And not Randy. That's not what it means to be adopted. When you're adopted, it means your mother threw you out. Just like the garbage. That's right, the garbage. You're just lucky someone dug you out before the trucks came to take it to the dump. 
You're nothing but a trash baby. What happened to you? Nothing. Zach, what's the matter? Come on, honey. Tell me what's the matter. Rainy's in my real... My real mom threw me away. It's true, isn't it? She threw me away because of garbage. No, honey. That is not true. Do you remember that book we read, the big adoption book? He said I'm a trash baby. Honey, come... Zach. Zach. Look, Zach, Randy doesn't know everything. The real truth is, well, the whole truth is that babies don't get adopted because they're garbage. Babies only get adopted because someone loves them. A lot. See, at first it was just mom and dad and me. But there was someone missing. And then we saw you. And we knew that our family would never be finished until you were in it too, Zach. At least that's what I thought. Really? That's the truth. Thanks, Mike. Oh, and this is for you, Mom. What have you got there, honey? sweetie. And you, my big sweetie. Thanks, Heartbrother. Anytime, Heartbrat. 